Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're doing a quick review on the Auto Aqua Smart Security System. If you want to save your tank from the most common equipment failures in a simple and uncomplicated way that any reefer can set up regardless of skill level and without breaking the bank, then Auto Aqua's Smart Security System is the redundancy that you've been looking for. It's super, super easy. Also very affordable. A reef tank is an ecosystem, not only of living organisms like fish, corals, algae, and bacteria, but also of equipment that acts as the life support system, providing water movement, filtration, lighting, temperature control, and nutrition. Whether or not you're running a simple reef tank with just the basics or a more complex menagerie of reefing gear, having redundancies in place to protect your tank from equipment failures can be the difference between a happy reef tank and tank crash when that critical piece of equipment like a heater or return pump fails. And also your home, because water and floors are not a good mix. Auto Aqua saw the gap and made an affordable and simple solution to add redundancies for the three most common types of equipment failure so that any reefer out there can add a few simple little sensors that can help save a tank from heater or chiller failure, an overflowing skimmer, and various types of water level issues that could either damage your equipment, cause a tank crash, or flood your home. In the box, you'll find the Smart Temp Security, the Smart Level Security, and the Smart Skimmer Security. All of these sensors are incredibly small and simple. Each one includes a smart plug wired to a small sensor with a magnetic mount for up to half inch glass. No DIY skills, just clip it on, plug it into an outlet, and then the equipment into it, and it's ready to go. If the sensor detects an issue, it will shut off the equipment and give you both a visual and audible alarm so you can take action. They can also be purchased individually, so if you want to add extra sensors to protect multiple potential failure points for, say, water level, you can do that. Or if you want to protect one particular potential point of failure, like your heater, you aren't locked into getting all three. But they do make a really good trio, like the Three Musketeers. Let's take a closer look at each sensor and what it can do. The Smart Level Security can be used to detect when water level is getting either too high or too low. A great example is using it as a low level sensor for your return pump. If your ATO fails or water in the sump gets too low, it can shut off your return pump, saving it from running dry and tripping that alarm to let you know something's wrong. As a high level sensor, you can plug your ATO into the Smart Level Security. And in the event it fails on and is dumping too much water into your sump, it'll shut off your ATO and prevent it from overflowing the sump or dropping the salinity dangerously low for your corals and invertebrates. The best part is the sensor will automatically detect how you have it set up. So you can just place the sensor above or below the water, plug the piece of equipment into the sensor, and after a five minute delay, it'll save the state, power the device plugged into the smart outlet and shut it off, triggering the alarm when the state changes. Crazy simple. The smart temp security sensor can be placed anywhere in the tank or the sump and then your heater or chiller can be plugged into the smart outlet. If you use it with your heater, it'll automatically shut it off in the event your heater fails on and the temp goes above the preset maximum of 84 degrees Fahrenheit and it'll give you that visual and audible alarm. In the event that the heater fails off and the tank dips down to the preset minimum of 72 degrees Fahrenheit, it's going to shut off the power to the outlet, which won't do anything, but it will give you the same visual and audible alarm, letting you know something's wrong. In both cases, you know the heater failed to do its job and it needs to be replaced. It works exactly the same with a chiller. If it fails on, the smart temp security will shut it off when it drops below that preset minimum of 72 degrees Fahrenheit. And if it stops working and the tank starts to heat up past that preset maximum of 84 degrees Fahrenheit, it will set off that alarm to let you know. The smart skimmer security sensor is placed on your skimmer cup with the skimmer pump plugged into the smart outlet and it'll shut off your skimmer in the event that the skimmer cup fills up. Whether it's just ready to be dumped and you haven't gotten around to it yet or an additive or change in sump water level has sent your skimmer into overdrive, saving your tank from skimmate spilling into the sump, making a mess of the skimmer and potentially splashing salt water on surrounding equipment or all over the inside of the stand. Every smart security sensor also has built-in features to prevent accidental triggering of the sensor. When plugged into power, for example, the smart outlet has a five minute time delay to account for accidental power outages so that the system can reach regular operating levels before the sensors are activated. And when one of the sensors is tripped and saves the day, they're very easily reset by unplugging them from power and plugging them back in. And like any sensor, it's a really good idea to keep them clean so that they're always working to protect your tank. 
It is worth mentioning that unlike an aquarium controller that can connect to the internet to send you push notifications to alert you when you're away, you do have to be home to hear or see the smart security alarm so that you can replace or service the equipment that it shut off to save your tank. This is a huge advantage that could save me hours or days of my aquarium running with an equipment failure that I may not have noticed otherwise. And even if I'm not home, someone usually is and they can get me on my smartphone to let me know, and I quote, your tank is beeping. At 160 bucks and much less expensive than a full controller setup, the Auto Aqua Smart Security System is a massive value for every reefer. And although I have a controller setup I'm going to be using on my tank, not all of my equipment is gonna run on that controller and this will be my safety net for those pieces of equipment. There are lots of different failure points to consider and many ways to provide redundancies to keep your tank inhabitants safe like having two smaller return pumps instead of one larger one. So in the event one of the pumps fails, there's still a pump circulating water through the filtration and through the tank. Ryan's got an awesome video that's gonna break down a whole bunch of different failure points that you probably aren't even thinking about. So rather than having to search your system for all the, you know, potential mishaps that could happen, just watch Ryan's vid. He's gonna walk you through the whole thing, show you all kinds of different points you gotta check off your list and set up some redundancies to keep everything in your tank happy and safe.